Sup, cunts. How the fuck are you? It's Rory the motherfucking lion here. Hey, can we get can we get a a fucko meter? Can we get a can we get a fucko meter? Just put up. Like every time I every time I say the word fuck, we can. It's it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try it out. You ready? Fuck. Fuckity fuck 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 fuck. <laughs> That's fucking sweet. <laughs> ha. Fuck yeah. Now, if you all can uh, actually hear my voice and what fucking cunt is watching a YouTube video without the fucking sound on, uh, Rory's not well at the moment. No. Rory caught a bit of the uh, the old coffee coffee, sicky sicky thing. Do you know what? You know what? I am not taking a fucking sicky. Not today. Not today. Today... Today we are going to talk about fucking rape fucking culture. Or to the social justice warriors, just rape culture. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Cat Black. Fucking Cat Black. The fuck name is that? Who the fuck named this bitch Cat Black? She's fucking black. Does she know? Does she know that her name is Black? Fuck. Alright, first up, she has a production value. So, I would say that this is a made-up story. So, I was walking home the other day and- Were you though? This guy followed me as I was walking to my apartment. Whoa, fuck mate. You want me to subscribe already? Shit. You want me to subscribe under the notion that your name is Cat Black and you're black and that you walk home that's that's what it takes huh fuck do you know, do you, know, you fucking subscribe to me i've said shit all at the moment fuck just you know su subscribe or something he asked me where i was going and i said home what the fuck does that mean quote quote home do you not have a home were you not going home where the fuck were you going? Smiling politely and quickly turning around. Then he asked me if he could come with me and I said, no, I'm okay. This time making sure that I had no eye contact with him. Dude, do you know how hard this, this guy had to work up the courage to even approach you? Your name is Cat Black. You are black. Fuck, I would, I would. Come on, Rory, you can do this. There she is. There's that cunt with the black glasses and her fucking last name's black and she's got red hair. Fuck, once in a lifetime. Once in a fucking lifetime. You ready? You ready? All right. Just prepare what you're going to say. Prepare what you're going to say. Where Where are you going? Where are you, where are you going? Where are you, where are you going? That's it. <clears throat> you ready? And... Then he asked me, can I get your number? And I said, sorry, no thank you. No thank you. Oh, so polite. Fuck. Can I get your number? No, thank you. Um, no, thank you what? Then he asked me, do you live alone? And I said, no, I live with my boyfriend, hoping that he would get the clue. Why the fuck would you say that? Get the clue. Are you trying to say to me that you don't have a boyfriend? That you have to use this? See, this is one thing that I don't fucking get. Girls say that they're, they have to claim that they're owned by another man to get somebody away. But I'm thinking this guy's not taking the hint. And you've just said that you're owned by another man. You did that. You said that. And he's still not getting the hint. He wants to get to know you. You may not want to get to know him, but he's just built up the courage to get to know you. Can you please tell me how the fuck this means that he's gonna rape you? Then he said, so can I get your number? Oh, oh, okay. So this, this is about how men are dogs. Is that it? That he still likes you after you said that you had a boyfriend? Or he's actually never seen you with a dude. So he kind of knows that you don't have a boyfriend. Oh, Cat Black, please, 
Please fucking tell me what the fuck you think rape culture is. Fucking 10 hours later, who the fuck took that long to read that shit? Rape culture is a culture in which sexual violence is considered the norm. Rape culture is... Really? You've just basically said rape culture is rape culture. It's a culture where girls going away to college are told that they should invest in pepper spray keychains, but doesn't teach boys about consent. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Every fucking guy knows about consent. How, how are you saying that guys are not taught that? If they're not taught that, when they're 14 years old and they're groping for a boob from their girlfriend, and they say, uh-uh, I don't like that, that, that is rejection. That is learning. They won't do that again in fear that they will not get sex ever. What you're saying is, and this is exactly what people say when they mean rape culture, is that every single guy in their head does not know what consent means. What the actual fuck are you talking about? It's a culture that tells women that the length of their skirt determines how truthful their claims of sexual violence are. Where the fuck are you getting these stats from? I, I know girls that have never worn a skirt and they're slutty as fuck. It's a culture that encourages women to keep their sexual assaults to themselves. So, okay, so you're basing this rape culture on girls that are too ashamed to actually say they were raped and using this knowledge that you've just made up actually proves you're right? I've heard this argument before, but I'm gonna say it again. There are Australians that know how to speak French. Are we living in a French culture? No, because there are some people that do it, doesn't mean an entire culture is built on that for fear of losing family members or ruining a reputation. It's a culture that tells boys that when they're raped by a female teacher, that they should be thankful that they were able to land a hot chick at such a young age. You're missing the difference between males and females. And this is something that I don't hear too fucking often from when a guy gets hair on his nutsack. He walks around constantly with a boner. All he thinks about is poon. That's all I can think about. It's not our fault that women, some women, don't walk around with a constant heart on. Whose fault is that? It's not our fault that we're biologically wired to be turned on by the slightest brush up against a fucking shopping trolley. It's not our fault that we constantly wish attention. And it's not our fault that your cooch is so dried up that you don't know what a sexual advance is. And if you were empowered, you would take control of your sexuality and not blame an entire culture or this fictional culture. You were able to land a hot chick at such a young age. Fuck yeah. You never see chicks go, oh man, that dude's balls were fucking hot. Older the berry, sweeter the juice, bro. No, you never fucking see that. You see dudes doing that because they're fucking dudes. Fuck. It's a culture that tells boys that they can't come forward about their rapes when their rapists are men because surviving sexual violence makes you gay. Okay, wait. So what you're talking about is if a guy is raped by another guy, he is shamed. So again, you're pointing the violence on guys by guys. How the fuck is that fair? Why aren't you talking about the women rapists that rape other, rape other women? That's comparing oranges with oranges there. It's a culture that jokes freely about men getting what they deserve in prison from other inmates. Yeah, it is. You've never been a big black guy getting penetrated by a bigger black guy. Again, to compare oranges with fucking oranges it's like you going to jail for killing and raping a child getting fucked in the ass by a bigger black chick that that is justice
It's a culture that teaches men that they're incapable of being survivors of sexual violence because of physiological responses. It's a culture that teaches men that street harassment is a favorable way of approaching a woman. No, it's sometimes the only way an ugly old dude can actually fulfill some sexual gratification. And that guy may get off on that type of thing. We all got things. Your thing, obviously, having a choker around your neck and looking like you've shoved a lemon up your cooch. It's a culture where I have to say no over and over and over again. Then fucking say yes, cunt. Actually want it. If you don't want it, maybe you should seek medical attention because your libido must be quite fucking low. And judging by this video, that is most likely it. I, I just want to bring this to your attention that being overweight does lower the libido. So maybe you should get the fuck up off your ass and walk around a little. Because men are taught that no secretly means yes. What? Whoa. That no secretly means yes. That no secretly means yes. Uh, what? Where the fuck was I on that day? I've heard no constantly. And I never get any. But what you're saying is that no means yes? Huh. No means yes. Fuck. Why wasn't I taught that? This just changed everything. Wow. I'm gonna have fun this fucking weekend. Shit. It's a culture where men are more willing to respect my rejection if they believe that I belong to another man. No. No. By your example at the beginning, you've just proven the point that that guy was persistent enough. Even after you said that you had a boyfriend, he still wanted to hook up. You are completely fucking crazy. Who the fuck subscribes to you? And who the fuck gave you thumbs up on this stupid video? Rape culture is not the idea that we live in a society that supports the idea of rape, but rather that we live in a society that trivializes, downplays, and sometimes struggles to decipher sexual violence. Rape culture tells survivors of sexual violence that they are required to report their rapes, but only convicts 2% of reported rapists. The people that do that know what they're doing. They take the entire story and work off the facts. It's not as though guys are part of this secret club where if a man is tried for raping a lady, it's not as though men go, oh, do you know, I'm going to pretend to be cranky at you, but it's only for show. It's because that bitch over there is crazy, so I'm going to make it look like I'm disciplining you. But I'll, sorry, I'll, um, I'll only give you a short sentence, okay? <laughs> That'll teach the bitch. <laughs> that does not fucking happen. We trust these people to do their job properly and efficiently by looking at both sides with evidence and then judging on that. Just because a rapist, and this is just a general rule of thumb, just because somebody raped somebody does not mean they should be put away for the rest of their life. Yes, they should be punished, most definitely, but they did not kill somebody in cold-blooded murder. Yes, this guy should be punished. Yes, this guy should be put in jail where he should be butt-fucked by another man. Or reverse the role, if a bird raped a dude, this chick should be put away and be finger fucked by some gross, by this chick, for the duration of their sentence. Oh, I, I, I fucking can't fucking stand this. <sighs> Bitches be crazy, you know? Bitches be crazy. Anyway, y'all, I will be back soon. Look at that fuck off meter, holy shit. Let's get it up there a bit more. Fuckity fuck, 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 fuck.
Fuck it, fuck, 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 fuck,